Hello, my name's Lisa, and in today's video, we're going to be addressing the fact that Mr. Beast has fired his childhood friend, Ava Chris Tyson, from the Mr. Beast brand. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, this is my second video on this subject. Unfortunately, the first video is being suppressed by YouTube in the algorithm and it's not getting out. So I'm going to leave a link to that video below, which explains everything up to now as to why Mr. Beast is firing Ava. Now, before we jump into it, I just want to apologise for the fact that I'm still not feeling very well. I've still got this awful virus, cold, whatever the hell it is. I don't know what it is, but I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. I really thought I was getting better and I did feel better for a couple of days and then I've just gone downhill again. So if my voice is a little bit weird and I'm out of breath, that's why. But I'm going to do my best to get through this video. This firing is on the BBC News, which is news from the UK. And it just goes to show you how massive this is, that a YouTuber from America is being covered on the BBC News. That is a real shocker. So I'm just going to read the article to you and we'll go through what it says in it as I'm reading it. As you can see, this was four hours ago at the time of recording this video and today's date is the 25th of July. So let's get into what the news has to say about this. Mr B says he's hired investigators after his former co-host was accused of a teenager. Ava Chris Tyson was accused by other YouTubers of sending inappropriate messages to the minor when she was 20. This all took place many years ago and I do cover that in the first video but I'm just going to tell you a quick synopsis. Ava Chris Tyson was 20 years old and was allegedly having inappropriate conversations with a 14 year old so that's what this article is talking about the 28 year old who worked on mr beast's channel since 2012 strenuously denied but said the pair had mutually agreed she should quit in a follow-up statement, Mr Beast, whose real name is Jimmy Donaldson, said he was disgusted by the serious allegations of Ava Tyson's behaviour online. As you can imagine, a lot of people are asking, did Mr Beast know anything about it? So you let me know your thoughts on that down in the comments. I don't know. I don't know whether he knew anything about it or not. Obviously, being a YouTuber, I know who Mr. Beast is because he is the biggest YouTuber on the planet. So, yes, I know who he is. But do I watch his content? No, absolutely not. That is just not my thing. Ava has apologised for past behaviour, which was not acceptable. Mr Beast is the world's biggest YouTuber with more than 300 million subscribers. He said he had become aware of the allegations against Ava, which first started circulating online last month over the last few days. I am disgusted and opposed to such unacceptable acts, he says. The acts that Ava has been accused of are heinous and absolutely disgusting. But as I said, that's all covered in the other video, so I'm not going to go over it all again here. So if you really want to know what is being spoken about, then please go to that video. Mr Beast 
statement said he had been focused on hiring an independent third party to conduct a thorough investigation to ensure I have all of the facts. I've seen comments already regarding this statement from Mr Beast and they're saying why did it take Jimmy five days to address this? Well, in defence of Mr Beast, he runs a massive corporation and there are legal ramifications here. So he has to do it right. And to be honest, five days for an organisation of his size is pretty quick. So if you're going to be in my comments saying, yeah, but it took him five days, it shouldn't have took him five days, he's a massive YouTuber, he could have made a video. Yeah, you're right, he could have made a video, but he has got to do this properly in the eyes of the law. So he's not like me, I can just set up my camera and sit in front of it and you know I can give you my opinion and that is all it is is my opinion on these alleged acts but for him that is not the same at all he has to do it properly because of the ramifications of his whole brand. That said, he continued, I've seen enough online and taken immediate action to remove Ava from the company, my channel and any association with Mr Beast. I do not condone or support any of the inappropriate actions. The US YouTuber added that he would wait for the investigators to finish their work and take any further actions based on their findings. And that's all Mr Beast can do. All he can do is an investigation which is totally independent, so it's unbiased, and he can only act on what is found so that it is not alleged anymore. It has to become real hard facts. And he's done the right thing by firing Ava or coming to an agreement that Ava's going to walk away, whatever way you want to term it. That in and of itself is 100% the correct thing to do, in my opinion. Unacceptable posts. Ava previously said she had never anyone and to create a narrative that my behaviour extended beyond bad, edgy jokes is disgusting and did not happen. She added, in past years, I have learned that my old humour is not acceptable. I cannot change who I was, but I can continue to work on myself. Ava is admitting there that what took place is unacceptable. Well, in my opinion, it was a damn sight more than unacceptable. You, in your 20s, should not be having conversations like those that took place with a child who started off in the very beginning at the age of 14. It is not just unacceptable, it is reprehensible, it is awful, it is wrong in so many ways. Ava revealed last year that she was a transgender woman and that she was undergoing gender-affirming therapy while changing her pronouns to she, her. To me, the fact that Ava has come out as transgender has absolutely nothing to do with any of this. That is not an excuse. It doesn't matter if you are transgender, if you are straight, if you are gay, if you are bisexual. Your sexuality is not in question here. What you said to a 14-year-old allegedly is what is in question here. She has not yet responded to Mr Beast's most recent comments. 
the person alleged to have received the messages from Ava came to her defence saying that descriptions of their relationship online were massive lies and twisting the truth. In a post shared on X, he wrote, Ava never did anything wrong and just made a few edgy jokes. I was never exploited or taken advantage of. That last statement there was from the alleged victim. And to be honest, I don't agree with what he says. He may not see the conversations that took place as wrong. And he may not feel like a victim because these things took place when he was 14, 15, 16. And now he's 20. Well, as a alleged victim a lot of them don't see these things as wrong at the time and for some time afterwards it can take years before they see it as a problem and in my mind i think that he is still friends with ava so therefore he's not gonna want to throw ava under the bus so to speak but that still doesn't mean that what took place wasn't disgusting. BBC Newsbeat has contacted Ava Tyson and Mr Beat's representatives for comment. And then the article just goes on to say all about how the Mr Beast channel started in 2012 when he was 13 years old and all of the good things that Jimmy has done since he became this massive YouTuber and it also goes on to say how much he is estimated to make per year and how much of this he gives to charity. I may not watch any of Mr Beast's content because as I said near the beginning it, it, it's not really the stuff that interests me. But that doesn't mean that Mr Beast doesn't deserve his success because I believe he does and he does do some wonderful things to really help people which is brilliant. I have to say I am very pleased to be telling you that they have parted ways and Ava is not going to be part of the Mr Beast brand anymore. Well, that's it for this video. I hope it has brought some new information to you. If you have enjoyed it, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next video. Ta-ta for now.